Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition here on the Game Professor channel. I'm your host the Game Professor and today, or this episode, second episode of the day, uh, we are going to go back down to Omega and we are going to recruit Archangel. And like I said last time, I do realize that for the most part right now we seem to be following the same trajectory overall in the, the game. Unfortunately, this is kind of the nature of Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. They are far more linear than Mass Effect is. Um, but I am going to try to mix things up as much as I can. I do think after we're done with this mission, I think we're going to go and do probably the Firewalker DLC. Um, let's see, we have five people to choose from now. Uh, who would be good to have? I'm going to go with Miranda again, because I like having Miranda. I want firepower. Now eh, let's do Zaid. Let's see what Zaid's like. I haven't used him yet. So... We have three points to use. It probably would be good for me to boost up concussive, uh, Adrenaline Rush so I can get Concussive Shot. Because that is actually a pretty good move. Um, speaking of, we'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Just keep them nice and balanced. And then... I'm going to up Miranda's Cerberus officer. That looks good to me. Check our weapons. I only have the one assault rifle. I'm about to get a better assault rifle in this mission. Katana shotgun. Let's use the eviscerator. Um. I do not know where this cough has come from. My goodness. Um, I am going to stick with the arc projector. I've kind of been, I've enjoyed that, honestly. Um, I'll stick with the incisor sniper rifle. Let's see what's... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do that. That all looks good. So... I'm going to go back into Afterlife. Okay. 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 Alright. Sounds good. So we will go do that. I've never actually checked to see if the dancers have different animations or if they're all just cycling through the same animation at different points. I think they might have different animations, possibly. That's impressive. We can buy the brandy. We will do that. What does Zaid have to say? I knew a bar out on the front that looked like this. Me and some friends got stupid one night. Long huh. story short, tempers fled, followed by pistols. We all got out, except my buddy Narco. Places like this huh. are slaughterhouses, dressed as nightclubs. I shit you not. That doesn't surprise me. But here, that's the lower level. That's going to be where we go to see the mercs. Let's do this, though. That's a person we know. I'm curious to see what her discussion is like this time. Commander Shepard? Is that you? I I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena hm. Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. Yeah, I told you to straighten up. And now you're on Omega. One's a criminal, always a criminal, eh? 
Oh, no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or hmm. not. Okay. Is that what you're calling it these days? That's what it's called when a person works for the betterment of the people around her. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. I could buy that. I do feel like that could be a... There, there is likely an angle. And if you skim a little off the top, no one's the wiser, right? Please, Commander, there's no angle. It doesn't take a saint to see that people here are hurting. I can play Omega's game and maybe do some good around here. That's the only angle. Okay, I do like to hear that. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. All right. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. I just realized I still haven't upgraded my armor for to give myself my visor. I don't remember if there's a point where it'll let me do that. This is the lower level here. Ah, we can deal with this dude here. I obviously know where I need to go to start the Archangel mission, but I'm kind of enjoying just randomly looking around. Essentially being a confused shepherd looking around. Order a drink. No? Yep. Didn't make it visible. That's interesting. And... There was something in that drink. Uh, I don't feel so good. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. Racist, batarian bastard. Looks like hmm. you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Afterlife hates humans? Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. So it was poisoned. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went hmm. there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Hmm. All right. Yeah, he's going to pay for that. I think I'll go get that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. <laughs> I mean, this whole... This whole interaction is inherently problematic. No real way to... See it any other way. And because of that, I, I do kind of not like it. But I'm also like... Eh. It's... It's a fun little rack to have. This will be back at the lower level here. Let's get another drink, Foreman. Do I know you? No, no. Humans all look the same. Here, mm. have a drink on the house. Um, I'm going to make you drink it. You don't want me to. Now, drink it. I no. You can't. I drink it, or I'll blind you one eye at a time. E. Very instantaneous death, which makes no sense. But the other bartender obviously doesn't care. 
Um, so, there's a part of me that really doesn't care that much either. Let's, ah, just a private watch party. That goes to a Let's talk to the recruiter. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid and the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking mm -hmm. for a good fight? Looking for Archangel. Sure, if this is the place to go <coughs> after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns, Eclipse, or the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? I wonder what they would do if other Merc gangs tried to join in on this. That'd be interesting. Um, why Archangel? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows mm. we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Hmm, alright. Um, do you know the plan of attack? What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides... What are the odds he can kill all of you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He no, does I haven't. Everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Who's Tarek? Is he a heavy hitter? How many merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. Alright. <coughs> um... Eh, we've essentially gotten the idea of the location already, so I'm not gonna say anything. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Alright. Hey, is this where I sign up? Yeah. This is it, but it's no game, kid. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. Yeah, you know enough to get yourself killed. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. All right. If you're sure, registration's in here. Good luck. You'll need it. Perfect. Thanks. It's so weird that he acts as though he needed my permission. <coughs> but... Yeah, this Shepard isn't going to be that worried about a kid risking his life to do something stupid. So I think what we'll probably be able to do is Come on, let me get in. through a good chunk of the opening bit. Oh, Gavorn. I've heard your name. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? I did you a favor. I saved you a lot of trouble. You should be grateful. Grateful? Huh. Now I get to deal with the slavers complaining about the reduction in their crops. Hmm. With that, I can handle. What do you do here? What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. 
the way those Vorcha breed. I'll have something to do soon enough. All right. Do you know what they're up to? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> they're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. Well, you obviously were not paying attention. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. All right. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Yeah, I'd say that makes sense. It's definitely intended to be a very seedy location. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. I am hoping that I can have a spot to swap out my uh, armor. I need to actually remember to do that. That is one annoying thing about <laughs> this game compared to the first game. You can't just swap out your armor at any time. We'll stick with this squad. I think this will be a good squad. I'm hoping. Yeah, no change. No change. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. You bet. I'm ready to go. Is he with you? I'm no. on my own. I don't need any help. Just tell me where to go. Right. Just head through there. I'm sure you'll find your way. I'm on it. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> they tell you what we're up against? Not really. The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. Now that I'm here, you will. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. All right. What can you tell me about the infiltration team? Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. Hmm. They got across? How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. Okay. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. Okay. I, I can understand that, but I'm going to get my info, man. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout. Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. What can you tell me about the gunship? They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Okay. Yeah, he definitely sounds like someone we need on our team. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. <clears throat> Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Alright. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. One thing at a time. Let's find it first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. All right. Just gonna work our way up. Unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. 
me? Oh, it won't let me. Oh, hello. Us. Yep. That is amusing. I like that. <clears throat> I like that he'll shoot at you. If you stay in the middle long enough. Huh? As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Okay. You need something? Who are you? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? <laughs> I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? What can you tell me about the plan? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction. Nothing more. Hmm. Whether you survive or not is up to you. He's definitely cold. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Yeah, do you have details? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. All right. What can you tell me about the Eclipse? Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds mm. very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't mm. come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Yeah, you do seem pretty upset. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. All right. I'll get going. Good idea. All right. Message to Tarek. Tarek, I've spoken to Garm, and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on to the next objective. It's clear, though, that none of our organizations would be ready to move on Arya without the assistance of the other two. Well, that's some good intel, I'd say. And Ezo smuggling accounts. I like that. I didn't have to go to the side there, I just realized. There we go. Nice simple hacking process. Some refined Ezo. Heavy mech diagnostic station bypass friend or foe ID. Love it. That was there. There we go. Targeting parameters reconfigured. That should slow them down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Brilliance. Absolute brilliance. All right. Which? Huh? Of course, the blood pack would have Vorcha. Nothing back here. It looks like. Let's talk to Garm. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. Who are you? Are you the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Mm. Ask your questions and go. What can you tell me about the blood pack? Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. Yeah, I'd definitely say especially Archangel. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. 
But he's coming right. to me, man, and making me work for my money. I'll mm. be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one on one. All right. What can you tell me about him? What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse mm. to look at than you. And mm. he's brave till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Okay. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. Alright. What is your take on the plan? When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the hmm. Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Alright. I should get going. About time. So, it sounds like Eclipse first, then Blood Pack, and then, ultimately, Blue Suns, probably. Well... I would say, uh, he's a pretty good shot. Let's get more money. Oh, come on. This is my least favorite instance with these ones, when it just takes forever for the ones you need to appear. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Got a bit more here. Got a freelancer. I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there working on the gunship. We go mm. over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. All right. I'll be right back. Good luck. Well, let's go check over here first then. What do you want, freelancer? Uh, nothing. I'm talking to people as much as I can. I don't want excuses. Don't have to get that see. All right. What an ass. What's your problem? You get, get this scum out of my face. Tarek, what's eating your ass? Zaid. Oh, I didn't know that this would happen. This should be good. You know this asshole, Zaid? We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? It's okay, <laughs> Joe. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinta, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Ooh. to save you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible. Ooh. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. <laughs> what can I do for you? Right. What can you tell me about the Blue Suns? What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Suns so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. Yeah, that makes sense. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He hmm. shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Yeah, this does sound personal. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Mm. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. 
Mm-hmm. I definitely can buy that. What's Derek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll have the folks in the blood pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. So, he's waiting. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. Hmm. Alright. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. I am fascinated by the, uh... connection with uh, Zaid. I, uh, we haven't gotten to this yet, but uh, Zaid was a Blue Sun's leader in his past. C can, can we come, guys? Come on. Come on, Miranda. There we go. All right. But I am going to end this episode here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out and follow the Links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. But until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor, signing off. I'll see you then.